All right, so we are Smart Solar, and we are working on a solar panel that can track the sun. My name is Michael Bialis. I am a double E major, and my focus is on the sensor control logic of the project. My name is King Kid, KK. I'll be responsible for the data analysis subsystem. Uh, my name is BK. I'll be in charge of app development part of the project. My name is Claire Little. I am in electrical engineering and I am in charge of the power systems. My name is Trevor Mall. I am also in electrical engineering and I am in charge of the microcontroller. Hi, my name is Brittany Mevronovic. I am in electrical engineering and I am part of the motor control subsystem. So we are Team Smart Solar. We are going to be trying to maximize the generated energy from the solar panel. Uh, we are also going to try to align the solar panels based on infrared sensors that will be tracking the sun. The solar panel will ideally have 180 degrees of motor rotation and we will have cloud-based monitoring which will be using the Amazon Web Services. We were able to achieve all of our requirements for this project except for one of them. The sensors are able to determine the location of the light source and tell which way the motor should turn. The microcontroller tells the sensors to scan every two minutes for sunlight with a duration of one minute. The power system accurately supplies power for all of our subsystems, and both the app monitoring and data forecasting show the generation and consumption of power. So we are using a really bright light as a simulation for the sun because our sensors are not actually good enough to distinguish between the sun and just ambient light. But in the video, as you can see, I'm aiming the light towards the top of the sensors and the whole system is rotating towards me so that the each sensor detects the same amount of light and shortly you'll see that the whole system stops moving just right there. The whole system stopped moving because it was in the right position. Uh, I'm going to be uh, rotating the system back the other direction so I put the, uh, I'm facing the light towards the top two sensors and now it's rotating the opposite direction and eventually it will re come to a stop uh, once the each sensor detects the same amount of light which will happen shortly as you can see from this entire system here we have the solar panel that uh, changes direction based on the direction of light and as you can see from these two microcontrollers the MSP430 microcontroller and the ESP32 microcontroller these two microcontrollers are responsible for transferring data so the MSP430 microcontroller receives data from the all the sensors from the system and the ESP32 microcontroller receives all of that data from the MSP430 using UART communication protocol and the ESP32 connects to uh, Wi-Fi. Um, in this case, we have the connection with my phone using hotspot, and we're sending all of that sensor data to the AWS cloud. And as you can see from um, the ESP32 microcontroller, is not connected to any uh, PC or any device. It connects directly with Wi-Fi and sends data to the cloud. And this is the AWS console. Um, as you can see, we're using this tool called AWS IoT Core using what's called Lambda Resolver, uh, which is basically a simple script. And when we look at the uh, logs that are generated in the AWS console, we can see that the sensor data is received properly we can see that the data is received every five seconds which is what we configured it to be and looking at this web application we have all the sensor data being properly received every five seconds and updated directly on the plots and you can see the uh, values match the ones that we just checked in the log files and the bottom half of the web application is the uh, forecasting data received from the data analysis subsystems uh, API. And this is the prediction data for power consumption and power generation. And as you can see, 
the data is fetched properly from the API uh, provided from the data analysis subsystem. And all of this is deployed on AWS with a unique URL. So you can access this application from your mobile app, from a different desktop, or anything else you would like without a hardware connection.